I'm here with my son Jordan today. You're gonna to be seeing a lot of him because we're quarantined and we don't have other training partners. So let's talk about defense. For every attack that you face in jujitsu, you should have an early stage defense, you should have a mid stage defense, and you should have a late stage defense. And really it's a continuum. On one end of the spectrum, you have prevention. On the other end of the spectrum, you have a Hail Mary late stage escape when something is sunk in really deep. At minimum, for every situation you face, you should have at least one early, one mid stage, and one late stage. Let's look at a few examples to see what I mean by that. Let's start with the triangle defense early stage. So from the moment Jordan pushes my arm in and throws his leg over, I need to make sure I have posture. And if possible, if I can pull that other arm out, now it's very easy to cut the corner and come into side control. Even if I can't rip out that other arm, just getting posture is going to solve a lot of problems. Sometimes you have to lean all the way back and just weather the storm with some posture. Now I can post, cut the angle, and come around. Slightly later stage escape. This time I'm not able to posture and I'm not able to rip that arm out. So Jordan locks it up, but even though I'm being triangled, he doesn't have full control of this arm yet. I'm going to slide it up as close to the knee as possible, open, get my palm on his hip, and even drop my elbow. I can now sprawl and open up my chest. It's very, very difficult to get triangled from this position, even if he tries. And sometimes you can even get an arm in, and we can swim back out. Okay, slightly later stage escape. I don't have mobility with this arm. He's got it pulled across. So he comes in. We're in deep water now, but if I can get into the crook of the knee, and even if I can get my thumb in, now I'm gonna come to the opposite side, sprawl out, open my chest, and we can get out. even later stage escape. This time I can't even get my hand into the crook of the knee to begin prying that open. Okay, I do have the ability to move this arm, however, so if I come up on my toes, I post and I stack, now I can get a knee in and start cutting the angle. And we can get out. Okay, now, Hail Mary time. Nothing is working, so let's see what we can do. If I can get my feet into his armpits and retain some level of posture, it's very, very hard for him to triangle me. It's not impossible, right? He can always really pull me down and compress me, but, and I may not, might not be able to get out of this position, but, if I can weather the storm, maybe he'll move on to something else. Let's look at the armbar from Spiderweb for another example of various stages of defense. So Jordan captures this arm and slides up. Now I know that this leg is going to come over my face and if I'm ready to intercept it, as it comes over, I can catch and even figure four. Now, it's gonna be very difficult for him to get the arm bar now that I've reinforced and I can kick him up, stack him, 
and pull the arm out. Okay, slightly later stage, this time Jordan gets the arm across and I wasn't able to intercept. Now there's always a moment before they have full control of the arm and fall back where there's a little bit of space and if I can turn into him and drop my elbow aggressively, a lot of times we can get that arm out and now we're safe. Sometimes they're holding so tight that you can't get that elbow to the mat, but if you reach over, grab the hand and pull, now you can pull the elbow down. All right, so now this time, none of those previous escape attempts are working. It's very, very important that I protect the arm that's being attacked. So I'm gonna grab my bicep and reinforce, at least to buy me some time. Now, because he's using the inside arm to hold, it means he has no base on that side. And if I lift my legs way up and kick down aggressively, I can come up, stack him, and shut my arm out. This time I missed all previous escape attempts and now it's really dire. Because my thumb is up, it means my elbow is down and the fulcrum is in the correct place for him to break my elbow. If I can rotate my elbow or my thumb all the way down and scoop under his leg and get parallel to him, there's no more arm bar. And now I can kick up and we can get out. There's also a hitchhiker escape, which is the classic escape if I can turn my elbow backwards and then rotate out. I have a torn labrum in my shoulder at the moment, so I never do this escape. It's just too high risk for me. But what I've discovered is if I can turn my thumb the opposite direction and try to rotate it all the way, then take the far arm and scoop under the leg and get parallel, it's almost impossible to get arm barred from this strange position and then if I can get out and kick up, then I've managed to get out. Okay, now let's look at the arm bar. Jordan goes for the arm bar, but if I can pin my head to my bicep, there's just no way that he can cut the angle and get his leg across. Okay, this one is also an early stage prevention. He goes for the arm bar, and with my free arm, I'm gonna cup his hamstring and I can roll him over, extract my arm, and now we can come to side control. Okay, now let's look at the classic late stage arm bar defense. He gets around and he's got my arm. If I can free the arm that he's attacking and capture my own bicep, and then take the other arm and grab the crook of his knee and stack, now it's going to be very difficult for him to arm bar me. Sometimes if guys are really strong, they can break through this, but usually it's a pretty good defense. And now I need to make a series of small motions. I'm gonna shuck, 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 shuck until I can remove that arm. And now I can cut the angle and we can recover into side control. Those are just a few examples of creating stages of defense. Whenever I'm rolling, I'm always cognizant of where I'm at in the continuum between absolute safety and absolute danger, and I try to select the defense based on the reality at that given moment. It helps to flowchart out your game and figure out all your defenses first and then drill them with progressive resistance so that you can learn to do the early stage ones, the mid stage ones, and the late stage ones. So give those a try, 
If you like what we're doing here, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. So I put my hands in his biceps. Maybe I can't get out. <laughs> hands? <laughs> Try as he might, there's just no way he's gonna get the leg over. <laughs> we need a definite stopping point. <laughs> <laughs> oftentimes we can get the arm out. And oftentimes trains intercept our videotaping. Good enough? Sure. Sure. Did we suck? I don't think I sucked. Did you suck? I, I don't think you sucked. I might have sucked. <laughs>